Hi, it's the Rossum Vegan Gal here, and today I am reviewing some products from a company called Elmhurst. I'm going to tell you about their history and the products that they offer. They're plant-based milks, and I also want to thank Heba for all her efforts to get me the products. Now, they have quite a few varieties. I think I have 10. Let's see, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have 8 here, but that's actually 10 total. I will have 10. So I'm not going to review them all at once. I'm going to do a series of videos. So in the first video, I'm going to explain to you about their process of how they make them, how this company got started, and what's in them and what's not in them. So let's first talk to you about them. So Elmhurst, the company was established actually in 1925. Just to tell you a little about their story. So you may have heard of Elmhurst. It used to be Elmhurst Dairy. Now they're not dairy anymore. So um, the company owner now, his name is Henry Schwartz. So he says, in 1925, my father and uncle founded Elmhurst, a New York family dairy. For over 90 years, we took great pride in producing natural and nutritious milk. So I believe non-dairy milk should be just as natural and nutritious. It shouldn't be nut-flavored water with additives to make it look like milk. Elmhurst gives you the delicious flavor and nutrition of a handful of nuts every glass very nice and I also I will have a link below this video to their website so you can check out all they offer how everything works so um, that's just a little bit of history so just so you know of the company now just to tell you a little bit more about the product all the products are dairy free gluten free non GMO no artificial flavors no high fructose corn syrup carrageenan free kosher and vegan uh, let's see what else they have used four times more nuts per serving they have a 180 day shelf life. They use no gums, no thickeners, and no emulsifiers. And that's because of their processing of how they do it, which is very interesting. So, uh, what else I wanted to tell you? So, they call them milked. So, the two that I'm going to be doing today are the milked walnuts and the milked cashews. And just so you know, once you open these, they are shelf stable, but once you open them, it's a 7 to 10 day uh, shelf life. So, what I would do. Um, is get your Sharpie out. I didn't take it out now, but I would write down the day that you open it. So then you can say, oh, I opened it on this day, and then you know how long it's good for. What else can I tell you that I didn't? Um, let's see. Refrigerating after opening, of course, so like you don't have to open it. And it's made from um, certified uh, paper. It's a, it's a, it's a uh, paper packaging. Um, so it's FSC certified, so it's forest as far as stewardship council, I think, so it's just, just protect the forest. So what is nut milking? It's, it's uh, we milk, we say milk the nuts just like homemade. We use traditional cold milling. I'm not sure what that is, but you can look that up online. To retain the whole food's goodness and flavor of the nuts, when you drink Elmer's, you're actually drinking a nutritional product like eating a handful of nuts. So what they show you on the package, this is the one for the walnuts, it says them, I'll just show you, which is very interesting. It says them, two walnuts in every glass with thickeners and emulsifiers. And then it says us, eight walnuts in every glass. Um, and again, the creaminess comes from the milk nuts, not from emulsifiers or thickeners. So the other flavors they have are they do almonds, hazelnuts, peanuts. They also do also grain milks. They're doing also brown rice and oats. Now those are their newer ones. I don't know if they're yet available to the public, but also you can buy any of them online. Um, the ones that they originally started with are the walnuts, the cashews, the almonds, and the hazelnuts. A little bit more to tell you because there is some other information here that I wanted to share. What is milked? Um, milked is, means, it's a verb, means to draw something from. So the word milk best describes our unique process of using water to separate and draw out the nutrients from the nuts. Once released, these valuable nutrients recombine naturally, making a very creamy and smooth beverage. It is actually. So I'm very impressed with um, them because I've actually tried them previously. Um, so what I wanted to tell you as well, I have this book here that I really like to refer to, to to get information from and to share about nutritional benefits of products. So this is a book called Rossum by Brigitte Mars, and I will have a link to her book below so you can check it out. So she has a section in here that I really like referring to called her Raw Foods Encyclopedia. So I will start with the cashews, and I think we'll do, try that one first. So what's the benefit of cashews? Um, I'm not going to read the Latin name. It's kind of hard to read. So they're members of the, uh, well, I will actually, get Anacardiaceae. I might have pronounced it right. And related to mangoes, pistachios, and poison ivy. Their name is derived from a Brazilian Tupi Indian word, acuja, meaning nut. The cashew nut grows attached to the bottom of a cashew apple. So 
If you've ever seen that, it's actually a little small thing attached to it. I've never eaten a cashew apple, but I hear they're good. It's eaten fresh and made into jams. Because the fruit spoils quickly, it's rarely seen outside of its native regions. Sweet and warm, cashew nuts are composed of about 20% protein. That's quite a bit. Um, between the inner and outer shell of the cashew nut is a toxic oil called cardo, which can irritate the skin. To release it, the uncracked nuts are usually roasted at 350 Fahrenheit, and then the cracked nuts are roasted again to remove the inner shell. So very few cashews, even if they're labeled, are packaged for sale without having undergone this process. So that's just so you know. But they do have, um, you know, nutritional benefit. And I'm going to tell you on here, they do have calcium, iron. They're high in iron. So for 8 ounces, these come in a 32-ounce container. So the cashews have 11 cashews in every glass. Um, and, well, as opposed to two in other companies because they use other fillers to fill it up. And um, so 2% calcium, 8% iron, and 8 ounces. So what they tell you is shake well. So all the ingredients, I can say. So they use filtered water cashews. They do use some cane sugar, but it's not a lot. It's only actually 2 grams for a whole 8 ounces. So it's very mild. Some salt and also some natural flavors. And let's see, anything else? They protein, 4 grams of protein for 8 ounces. So I'm going to shake this up. Now what they tell you on here is shake well. Twisting breaks the cap. That's the tamper evident tabs on the cover. Then again, we will put it in the fridge once it's open. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to try some of the cashew milk. And then I'm going to tell you also what you can do with these milks. There's a lot of interesting things besides just drinking them just like this. So I'm going to try a little bit of that. First, I'm going to smell it. I can smell it. smells like cashews. And I'm going to try some of that. So the color is really nothing to really tell you about. It's just a beige color. Mm, very nice and smooth. Not very sweet. The sweetness is very mild. It doesn't, I don't really taste much sweet to it. Now, it might taste better when it's cold. I'm not quite sure, but it has a very mild flavor. I was expecting that it might be a little sweeter, but yeah, it is very smooth. So that's the cashews. So what I wanted to also tell you, some ideas that you could do with all the milks, also depending on how sweet they are, they do have some unsweetened ones. So, for example, you can um, add some spices to them and warm it up. Have it as a chilled drink or like a chai drink or other types of spicy things you might want to put in. Um, you can also add other things to it. You, if you have superfood powders you want to add it to or add it to a smoothie uh, or a base for a soup even, whether it's a cold soup or a hot soup. Also, when you eat your cereal in the morning, since, we don't, since I as a vegan don't drink regular milk, so I would do that. Um, also, in baked goods or desserts, if you make anything and you and it calls for water, this might be a nicer way. You might have a nicer taste. Also, in a pudding, if you're making a pudding, whether it's a rice pudding, a quinoa pudding, other type of pudding, that would be nice to use. As a sauce or a gravy, which could be sweet and sour. Again, in, in place of water, that would be nice, creamy. Replacement for water when you cook your grains. You know, even though there is actually a rice, milk brown rice, you could still cook your rice with that. That would be nice as well. Um, also, uh, the one that doesn't take chocolate, they do have one with chocolate that you could make it into a chocolate milk. Or, or let's say you um, cook up potatoes, um, or even sweet potatoes, or even winter squash or cauliflower, and you want to make it like a creamy, like whipped potatoes or whipped uh, sweet potato or whipped cauliflower, you can use some of this for the flavor. That might be nice. Another thing you can do an experiment, if you can get... Like probiotic capsules, you can actually make a probiotic drink. So it would be a fermented drink. So those are just ideas for you. Now, I don't know if it will work with the ones with cane sugar, maybe with the unsweetened ones. But those are just some other ideas besides just drinking them. So the other one I'm going to try today is the milked walnuts. So I first want to tell you a little bit about walnuts and what's their benefits. So uh, walnuts are members of the Juglandaceae. <laughs> Maybe I got that right. Fam, walnut family. The genus name Juglans is derived from the Latin Jovis glans or nut of Ju Jupiter. A reflection of the belief um, that um, not that's not important about people who used to dine on walnuts. It's, okay, whatever. Anyway, the Chinese refer to walnuts as longevity food because a walnut tree lives for several hundred years. And walnuts are sweet, bitter, and warming. They are 60% fat and 20% protein, also high in protein. They contain vitamin E, calcium, potassium, and zinc. They strengthen the lungs and kidneys, lubricate the large intestines. Because of walnuts' resemblance to the brain, in many cultures, these nuts are considered a good brain tonic and used for treating head injuries. Yeah, if you look at the picture, it looks like it. The, uh, what the nut looks like, yeah. 
So that's the nuts. So, um, so there are eight nuts in every glass, so you know as well. They show you that on the front here. And any more information to tell you, they have three grams of protein in eight ounces, four percent iron, two percent calcium, rest of the negligible. Of course, these are higher in fat, but again, they're natural fat from the nuts. They're not adding any other fat. Again, the same ingredients, uh, except they use the walnuts instead. Um, and I'm going to shake this up as well and try the milked walnuts. And let me see if it has any kind of distinct smell. Yeah, oh yeah, I can smell it. It definitely has a different smell than the cashew does, and I think it is, wow, it is quite a bit darker. Now I see they haven't tried, and that will be the next step, they haven't tried anything with seeds yet, do some seeds, seed milks, and also I haven't seen pecans or Brazil nuts or macadamias, that might be some others, pine nuts is another one, so there's a lot of things they can expand on. So I just want to show you the color of the walnut milk, it's a little different, I'm going to try that. Mm, I can definitely taste the walnuts. Wow, this is very distinct. You can definitely taste that flavor. Again, very mild. Not, it's not the, like you think it would be super sweet, but it's not very mild. Very nice. Like again, I say you could add more to it. If you want it sweeter, because like I said, this one I think also is so it says four grams of sugar for eight ounces, and I only drank maybe a couple ounces, but it doesn't taste very sweet. So if you would like it sweeter, you can always add your own. I prefer stevia. I use green stevia powder. Uh, you can get that from Mountain Rose Herbs, pure green stevia powder. But again, you'll need very little for sweetening. But it's also going to turn your milk a little bit green color, because it does have a green color, but that doesn't bother you. Anyway, so those are the products for today. So this is part one. There will be probably about four more parts where I will try the other um, varieties of products. And I hope you'll definitely check them out. This is a great company, long history, and now they've decided to go into the plant, plant world and are uh, producing some really great products. And because of their, the way they process it, you get more nuts in, in your uh, drink. And I thank you for watching. It's the Rossum Vegan Gal.